Hey everybody, this is Johnny King with Merch Lister Pro, and it's been too long since I've made one of these videos. I'm sorry for the delay uh, on this update. My, uh, my wife had a baby, and then uh, not too long after that, uh, my lead developer quit, so I had to get a new one, and then right in the midst of all that, my dad had a heart attack, and so uh, it's delayed things a bit. Uh, he's doing all right now, but uh, it's definitely taking up a lot of my time, and so I'm back. We have the new update out. It's ready, and I just want to show you what is new and how you can start using it. So this update will update automatically, um, and so it'll come down to the extension. So if you are still seeing a screen like this, that means that you're still on the old version, and you can go ahead and update it manually. Um, within a few you know days of the update going down, it'll update your extension automatically and then you'll see the new screen uh, so it'll look like this so if you have um, these new links right here that means that you're on the new version and you're ready to go now there are a few things that need to be done in order to use all the features because uh, you know chrome just didn't like to take all of the updated features without us that having to do something manually so i can walk you through that uh, but first we're going we're to talk about you know what is new so in the new Merch Lister Pro 3.3.3, uh, we made some changes. And so what we did is we, uh, we added support for pop sockets. So if you go to the data machine over here, you'll see that we have the pop socket link over here. And then down here in the default values, um, you, know, you can make your default values for pop sockets. Um, we also added support for the UK and German marketplaces. So now uh, Merch Lister Pro will populate all of your fields on every marketplace that's available. Um, we added a hotkey field to the CSV imports and exports. So uh, whenever you are going in your merge profiles and you want to export the profiles, now if you export the profile, whenever you open that up, let me pull this over, it'll have a column for hotkeys. Um, that's something that a lot of people ask for, so uh, we definitely wanted to get that in there for you. And so now you don't have to uh, go through and manually add hotkeys if you import your profiles. Um, after that, let's see. Uh, we fixed the control enter hotkey issue where it wasn't working on the submit page. So if you press control plus enter, it'll uh, move right along to the next page within the merge platform. And, uh, and so we fixed that because it wasn't working. And we also made some changes to the default data machine values, which is uh, these guys are down here, your default values. Uh, whenever you would, in the past, download Merch Lister Pro, uh, the default values had some things in them about like high quality t-shirts or, um, you know, and so we wanted to remove any of the wording uh, that had, you know, descriptive words that Amazon doesn't like. You know, they want you to describe your design and not the product. Uh, that being said, you know, disclaimer, um, some of the default values in here still have words that some people might not be comfortable with. They all say, you know, great present for men, women, and kids by default or, you know, for birthday for Christmas. Uh, if you don't like those, please change them. These are meant to be changed. They're not meant to be used by everyone in this way. Um, I don't use these default values whenever I upload uh, my designs. I, I change them. I customize them for you know what I think is best, and I recommend you guys do the same. Uh, if you aren't comfortable with any of the wording, please change it. Like I said, you may have to do some manual updating on this uh, if you want to use the pop sockets field. If you're right here and you have these and it updated automatically, you'll see something. If you go into the data machine, this is what it's going to look like. Underneath pop sockets, it's going to have this get field link thing, blah, 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 blah. That's what Chrome doesn't like to take. Um, and so you'll see, you know, it's, it's down here, but you can't, you can't use it. You, it. It's not functional. And so what you'll need to do to get this to update automatically, and I'll put these steps in the description, is that you can go to your, uh, your Merch Lister Pro icon up here, right click that, Click Merch Lister Pro there, it'll take you to the screen. Just hit remove from Chrome, hit remove, and then hit add to Chrome, add extension, and it'll push that back in there and you'll have the updated version. Now, all right, and if you're going, if you're already here, if you're at the uh, the new updated version, but it's still, if you go over here and the pop sockets aren't there, first thing I would do before updating is go and export your profiles. And these exported profiles will already have the um, the hotkeys on them. So you see there, oh, push it over. So you see there in column H uh, that the hotkeys are there. Um, so it added to those. If you export it off of it before it automatically updates, it won't have your hotkeys. So I recommend, you know, if you have a lot of profiles that you don't want to have to relist, 
the hotkeys for wait until automatically updates then export your profiles um, and then go ahead and go through uh, the update process now um, once you get back in then you know you can import your profiles everything will come back in uh, you can go and set up new data machine uh, defaults down here for the pop sockets and everything else go in and build some new color profiles because those don't come across in the update uh, that's coming along on our, the next update and you know uh, we'll pull the, the color profiles along with it uh, or find a way for to import and export that to make it a lot easier but um, and then yeah then you're ready to rock and roll so um, oh the other few changes that we made are on the main page has these three links so uh, if you think that you might have missed you know the features on the newest update or you watch the video but you didn't watch it all the way through and you're like, oh man i wish i could find that video again if you click here you see these new features it'll take you to this youtube video the most common or the, like the most up-to-date youtube video uh, that has all the new features um, the second one is you know to join our newsletter that's just for people who uh, you know, for some reason they're not getting my emails. Um, you can go ahead and just put in your name and email address and get on the newsletter, and then I'll send out a uh, you know an update email whenever uh, new features are coming along, and that way you'll know when to update and what's going to be in the new update. And the third one is going to be uh, you know this link that says make recurring income as an affiliate, uh, just so everyone knows. Uh, as a Merchants to Pro affiliate, you can earn a 30% recurring commission. And that's for the life of the subscription. So if someone signs on and they're paying, you know, ten dollars a month, Merchants to Pro, that's three dollars a month for you, uh, recurring for the life subscription. Super easy money uh, from a product that uh, you know you trust and you know can really endorse for people. So I just want to make that easier for you and encourage you guys, you know, become an affiliate. That'd be cool. Uh, all right. Well, if you have any questions, definitely uh, let me know. You can send me an email uh, or you can send me a message in the Facebook group, uh, Merch Guild. Um, I'll go ahead and link those in the description as well. And that is it for now. Uh, you guys take care.